Fiesel Online. I got matching outfits with this guy today. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly sponsored by MTech. And our Zerg player. Sorry, I just have this one. OGS Sujan. I'm I'm not used to being tasteless. I'm artosis, I'm not supposed to be tasteless. I'm only the taste. I'm only the tosis and tastosis. Mm. It's the taste that normally says all that. Whoa, look at that. Looks like some Hellions killing some drones and some guy talking about it. All right. Excellent poster. Thanks you to uh, whoever made that. Gonna wall off straight away. Well, for this map, we see a lot of early 2-rex aggression because how open, sorry, because of how open the natural is for the Zerg player, you can not only do a bunker, you can also run your marines behind the mineral line. And it's so hard for the speedlings to reach you if you're a Zerg and you decide to fast expand. Which yeah. is why a lot of Zergs either don't bother to fast expand or the only way to defend that bunker rush is to patrol your ram and outside your expansion and pull your drones off to attack the SCV and to prevent the bunker from going up. That's yeah. the only way you can defend your fast expansion. And then some people even just see that and make the bunker further away and bunker push you. So yeah, it, oh. it can be a hard map to actually uh, get that quick expansion up. So as we see, Cezanne mm -hmm. playing it safe, mm -hmm. getting his gas, getting his spawning pool, gonna just do a very safe expansion after speed. Whereas Alive is not even actually planning Seems like he's going for factory though. Yeah, I think way. he's gonna go for uh, some sort of factory build. Maybe a starport? I don't know, let's see. Puts on a tech lab. Ooh, tech lab. Getting speed. Safe. Safe play. Yeah, and can't that's... really try to flash, be flashy right now. Yeah. Uh, alive getting a Reaper. Now, a Reaper is really great against someone who goes hatchery first, but. Against speed first, Reaper is very nearly useless. You know, he's going to have speed up before that Reaper is even across the map. So, Cezanne's going to be completely safe. Looks like he got the better end of the build orders this game. Mm -hmm. You're and, completely uh, right. Yeah, definitely. I think he's going to have a much better game ahead of him. Looks like he wants to be a Bunko with that Reaper, though. See his SEV hiding in the hallway there. What hallway? What are you talking about? Um, <clears> hey, <throat> this is going to have your head, Kelly. Don't be talking about a secret hallway. Don't be talking about it. It's not so secret anymore, though. <laughs> yes, it is. As long as you whisper while you talk. Okay, okay. Shh. <laughs> SCV gonna come in and scout. No, don't die, SCV. What are you doing? Caesar's morning pool. See, speed is being upgraded. No drones mining gas. Some important things to see. Didn't see any roach horn or any silliness like that. And, yeah, it looks like... Just factory and expansion. So, pretty solid build by Alive. Just got that Scout Reaper and all. Speedlings are out, though, as you see. Both players really wanting this as they are playing really standard and safe builds. Yeah. Speedlings so gonna come in and have a look. Sees a factory connected to the tech lab there. Doesn't see anything else, though. Reaper just holding onto that Zelnaga Watchtower. Well, the Reaper can just go onto the cliff. Just like that? Yep, just like that. All right. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah. The live is showing you. We have a Roach Warren going up. Well, he's scared to see that blue flame again. Yeah, he's, I think he's a little bit scared of that still. You know, that last game, it's a good reason. It's coming. It is, in fact, coming. Interesting. In fact, yeah, he's going to do a very similar build. It's going to be uh, slightly quicker on the blue flame Hellions, but uh, less economy involved. And look at that. It's quick with that Reaper. Roach Ryan is up though. So the Terran player is going to come in with his Hellions. And he's going to be careful because Roaches hard counter Hellions. Yeah, Roach is going to be quite good against that. Hopefully, Cezanne spreads a little bit of creep. In fact, he is already. Mm -hmm. Very good. In fact, he starts it in his main base. A lot of Korean Zergs don't prefer that style. They prefer to just start at the expansion. But against something like this especially, that can be very weak. So, Cezanne is going to be in just a perfect position to block this completely. Well, Atosis is completely right, because the Hellions can run to your base really quickly, and that one small patch of road without creep is a long and slow walk for your roaches. Here you go! Down the taste of secret hallway! Someone told Alive about it! Uh-oh. 
Suzanne has no idea where those Hellions came from. And back they go. Where are they going? Now he's going to bring his Overlord there so he can see completely what is going on. Tech switching right now into Siege Tanks straight away after making Cezanne with some Roaches. But that's okay though. Yeah. Roaches can tank a bit for the Siege Tanks yeah, later and, on in game. You know, the, the type of build right now that Live is doing, all of his aggression is going to be based around the Hellions in the middle of the map. As you see, he's even adding Engineering Bay right now along with an Armory. So he's just going to focus on upgrades and sitting in his base. All Cezanne has to worry about are these Hellions. And he's doing a good job of dealing with them so far. You know, as long as he keeps no kills from those Hellions, uh, Cezanne's going to be free to do basically whatever he wants for a little while. Looks like he's going to put some investment into Roaches because he's getting Roach Speed. What do you actually think about getting Roach Speed against Herons? I, well, in this situation, I love it. I mean, there's Blue Flame Hellions out there, scary. You may as well. He can switch into Mutals a little bit later and, and be fine still. Just make sure with that Roach Speed, you totally shut down all the Hellions. Uh, you don't necessarily have to stay Roaches forever. But I, I like it in this situation is the uh, the trunc truncated down answer to what you just asked me. Do you, do you actually feel that Roach is strong against a mech army? You know, it can be. Uh, I, if someone's going pure mech, you're going to have to, you know, get drops with your roaches. Okay. But, uh, yeah, roaches for a while, transition into either brood lords or ultras. I think that's the best way to counter mech against Terran. Well, as a Zerg player on Zalnaga, you also need to defend and try your best to, to prevent the go expansion from going out um, for the Terran player. Because you don't want a planetary fortress there. Yeah. You do not want it. In fact, having we the have roaches, been there, right? Yeah, I, I've been there. I've felt that, yeah. and it does not feel good. It feels like someone hitting me in the head with a baseball bat. Well, we see the roaches coming down, just chasing everything away, and you know, just having those speed roaches out should slow down the taking of a third base by a little bit. You know, it gets scary. You don't really know. Does he have a huge army? Does he have a small army? Third base going up there for Sazan. Life knows what's going on. Yeah, pretty solid play. We see in the production tab, Burrow on the way, Spire just finishing, Bane Nest on the way. And I think it's time for some Mutalists. Alive is definitely going for heavy mag play, putting out his third and fourth gas straight away after he got his second ex uh, his expansion up, sorry. And getting an in-base hatch for more production. Always a good thing to see. You know, when you're focusing a lot on uh, Mutalists, you always fill in a lot of that supply with Zerglings, and you actually just can't spend all your money on two hatches and two queens on that. So having that third hatch is going to help you to actually have way more units. Well, the command center is going up for a lie. Very soon, you guys are going to see Planetary Fortress. <laughs> yeah. Huge siege tank. Um, some Mutal is going to come in and scout and try to do some damage, but I think Alive is really prepared for this. Sees her head on the view, takes down one of them, going to go after it for a while. Pretty solid defense here by Alive. Now the third base for Cezanne is ready. Trying to stop these Hellions. Very nice. Very few Hellions actually left on the map, but over at Cezanne's third base. We do have a couple Hellions that are killing a bunch of drones. Well, not a bunch, just a couple. But really good placement there. And there you see our two players. He should probably invest in some spine crawlers. I mean, he has quite a bit of money in the bank. Mm. He can actually spend some money for spine crawlers. I'm um, gonna try to come in and do some damage with his Mutas. Actually has to harass before too many missile turrets are up. Has to prevent the Gobas from going up for sure. Sees a, uh -oh. sees a Banelings. Banelings does not have speed yet though. Not sure he should be doing this push. Yeah. Here comes the Roaches. Roaches clearing out those Hellions quite nicely. You know, uh, having all these speed Roaches out, there's really not a lot to do with them. You could have them sitting around similar to spine crawlers, you know? It's great to have a couple spine crawlers here and there, but you can also split up your Roaches a little bit if they're just to block Hellions. You don't need to keep them all in one control group. Now, production for our Terran player, mostly Siege Shanks and Marines, just a very solid unit combination. Whereas Zahn is really starting to make a lot of Zerglings. He's got Baneling speed going, getting his upgrades. Nice Hellion harassment still. Still doing damage with that one Hellion. Oh. Well, I like Alive. Alive 
is a really good player because you can see he scouts almost constantly. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the hallmark of a great player. You've got to keep your scout if you have to know what's going on. Has a pretty solid mech army in his base at the moment. This is going to be a really good engagement because of yeah. Utah beaming plus roaches against this huge mech and marine army. Absolutely. Uh, right now, supplies 165 for Cezanne, 148 for Alive. And a uh, good scan there, taking out the failing landmines. Really on top of uh, hitting all the spots that those should be in. Look at the turret placement. Oh yeah, I God. like that. Stops any harassment perfectly. So experienced. Clearly. Going to take out these supply depots, but it slows down the roaches enough that he can bring his army back and really not take any true damage from this harassment. But, you know, that does supply cap our Terran player, at least for a little bit. Cezanne quickly reaching the max out supply. It's up at 193 right now against the 154. Coming in. Oh, my. Deciding to engage right now. And uh, that did not. So turn out. many speedlings. <laughs> so many speedlings dying. Well, I think he's desperate to take out the command center be before the Planet 3 Fortress is up, for sure. Yeah, he definitely got a little bit nervous there. I think he moved a little bit too quickly. Oh, the bailing landmines being scanned. Wow, alive seriously all over those. But some Mutos harassment in the main base. Thor plus missile turrets equals goodbye Mutas. This guy has like a beaming sensor. Yeah. Every time he scans, he catches those beaming landmines. He knows everywhere, seriously. This guy is just safe as can be. Which of course, I'd love to see that type of play. And it looks like we may have a counterattack, or will he engage? <coughs> Excuse me. He's going for the go base. Very nice move here. And he's going to want to take out that command center. He's base trading basically right now, which, of course, that's a scary thing to do against a Terran player. But what else can he do at this point? Has to make sure not to lose his land army to the sea shanks, though. And he's just going to go for it. It's a huge counterattack here. And, well, he's taking out the Sea Shanks. A lot of Banelings left. Cezanne doing a uh, great job here. SCVs running away. Can they get away? SCVs do get away. Banelings still going after them. Catches half the SCV line, the Natra. The Terran is oh. going to come back now. Do you see that? I can't believe what? that he just scanned that. <coughs> and, well, Cezanne doing a great job keeping the Terran from killing off all the spaces. Because well, Cezanne is still up on base. Yeah, you know, Alive made a huge mistake. He almost killed the third base of Cezanne. Uh -huh. And, oh my god, is he going to blow up these landmines? No, it's just barely out of range. Ouch. Could, could you see how he moved his marine? Yeah, just right to the left of it. Hey, does he have Bingling goggles on? <laughs> I think he oh may. Oh my god. There's a traitor on the Zerg Swarm. He was pushing and he was scanning at the same time and he caught the Bingling straight away right before he stepped into them. Every How experienced is this guy? Oh my god. Clearly, it pays to be on the same team as Blue Killer. We see he is finally going to take out that third base, which he was pulled away from before. He has taken some damage, though. You know, he's down at 155 supply. But that's about the same as what our Zerg player is at. Now, they're both on basically two bases. And it looks like our Gamma has just gone way up. <laughs> that's okay, though. Put my sunglasses on up. Take my sunglasses off. And did he just scan those banelings? Seriously? Yes. It's like what he does. It's like, what's your profession? I, I scan banelings. I'm just amazed by this guy. We gotta send this guy to one of those countries that sells landmines in the ground. I know. <laughs> well, it looks like he's gonna hit Cezanne's other base. Poor well, guy can't keep a third going. What the Zerg player has to do is to go for a counter right yep. now. This is a perfect, perfect opportunity. Perfect time. Is he gonna go for it? He's gonna go for it. It looks like he is. Or not. <clears throat> and here he goes. And there he goes again. He may want to just go kill his opponent's army. If he can catch it without the seed shanks, it would be perfect. Laying more and more landmines all over the place. Will he scan that one? If he scans that one, I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> one of these has to work out for him. Oh my! Oh my god! I don't know what to say. <laughs> TSL Live, you sick scouting guy. 
Well. This guy has Fruit cool. Dealer whispering over his ear. This is where I put my paintings. I know, right? At this time. But it's this his is timing. It's his timing. Oh this is God. where I bury my baneling berries to make a baneling tree. To make a marine blood tree is more like it. <sighs> but uh, Alive having none of that. There he goes. on all over the place. He is going in the back here. Not many seed shanks there. But oh my god, the siege tank's doing a huge job. 32 and 24 kills on those siege tanks. Mostly banelings and zerglings. Uzi's that is so painful. All he's and uh, I think we did have a landmine go off, but did not do any damage. And finally, this is on killing some units. This guy, I've never seen anyone try so hard to kill units. And just no luck for him. But he has to be careful because he let he lost his land army twice to Siege Shanks. And he should actually send his Mutas in first, but he always sends his Speedlings and Banings in first, which is mm. kind of bad. He needs to stop doing that. But the Tyrant's gonna go for the push right now. This looks like this is it. It's Here comes his Mutas. Push. He does have plus two attack. But actually, Cezanne has 2 2 on his circles right now. Will he lose? This poor gold base does not want to lose that by any means. You know, the third base is up for alive, but it's not a planetary. He had to actually use his main base. He's going to go for the counter attack right now, being the Zerg. He's going to lose his land army again. Oh, man. Those Siege Shanks just doing too much damage along with the Thor. And the third, the gold base, rather, of Cezanne looks like it is going to fall. Being saved. Straight away going for the back expansion. He wants to get his sea shanks here behind. Muta is cleaning it up. He's gonna try to defend his other base. These marines are gonna die to the Mutas and Roaches here. GG. He's on says GG. And Alive does advance the round of 16 in the TSL. Obviously a very happy guy. Look at him. He's very happy about his hand. Oh. All right, I found a thousand maidens at the road. I tell you, Cezanne went above and beyond the Call of Duty as far as throwing maintenance goes. And Alive, he doesn't need a Raven. I think a lot of parents should get Ravens. Not Alive, he can just use scans for days and days and weeks and weeks. Forgetting every, every single scan, right? That guy was on top of it. He, he was... knew what was going on. The only person more on top of it than him was Cezanne. That guy actually had Banelings burrowed in John's common knowledge hall. <laughs> It was like amazing. This guy had banelings everywhere. He thought of every single place on the map. He had them. He had them like on the ridges over the watchtowers, like as if Marines will ever go there, but yet alive scans and finds them there. I know. Yeah, right. Okay. I don't know how he did that. Poor Cezanne. He's going to have to get through those qualifiers again. That's going to be a hard one. Mm -hmm. And uh, alive does move on. Pretty exciting. It's time for a break, though, and an interview. I'm going to have to go find John, pull him out of whatever hole he's hiding in. Get him to uh, translate for us. I so. need to go talk to this guy with the beaming goggles. I know. Seriously, just steal him from him. Just rip the glasses off his head and put them on yours. All right. We got to go. It's interview time. We'll be back shortly.